uh, these verses were really important to me. My, my senior in high school, they got shared with me rather directly. And then they've just been kind of replayed over and over again in my life. And within this last week, they've really jumped out at me as I saw someone else share them. Uh, Isaiah 58, second half of verse 5, is this what you call fasting? And the kind of fasting he's talking about where the nation of Israel were, were practicing a real religious piousness, coming to the temple, um, going through the motions of an outward worship where it looked like they were making sacrifice. It looked like that they were uh, humbling themselves by going through kind of motions of, of real penance. Isaiah continues, do you really think this will please the Lord? Verse 6, this is the kind of fasting I want. God saying this, free those who are wrongly imprisoned, lighten the burden of those who work for you, let the oppressed go free, remove the chains that bind people, share your food with the hungry and give shelter to the homeless, give clothes to those who need them and do not hide from relatives who need your help. This morning's uh, devotion may not feel real encouraging, it may not feel real uplifting for you. Um, I hope you and I can experience some conviction around this, that the real worship of God, as God talks about it here in Isaiah 58, and it is demonstrated through His Son Jesus throughout the Gospels, throughout the ministry of the church, is not just an outward form or outward signs of, of going to church and doing religious things when it's really made no difference in our hearts, but rather the difference that is made in our hearts when we have a true encounter with the living God is lived out in how we help those around us. My wife and I were having a conversation this week and it was all about, wow, you know, we, we really have a hard time loving people when we really think about it. Do we really see the needs, whether it's in our neighborhood, in our communities, as Isaiah writes, even with our extended family? And do we have the love of Jesus that really lives that out through us? I could do a whole sermon series on this. My challenge to you today is just read through Isaiah 58 and just be open to the conviction of God around that. Are we really living out the gospel in ways that is pleasing to God, is worship? full to God? Read the chapter. I want to encourage you to do that. Let me just pray around this. Jesus, we need more of your grace, more of your life within us, that we could truly worship you. And by worshiping you, the sacrifice of just helping those around us, seeing those who are unfortunate and oppressed and are hurting, and seeking to share your love with them in very real and practical ways. Help us to do that. Amen. Remember, I encourage you, read Isaiah 58 today. Let God speak to you through his word.